Hold on tight, because these cliffhangers ain't getting resolved anytime soon. It's over. Yes. For you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie cliffhangers that remain unresolved to this day. For this list, we've chosen films that kept us guessing right to the end and beyond by leaving us with unresolved cliffhangers. And just so you know, we are excluding movie endings that are less clear-cut because we have another list of the top 10 ambiguous movie endings. We'll take care of him. They may not all be Oscar-worthy, but they still had us wondering who, what, where, when, and why. Oh, and by the way, spoiler alert. It'll be back. Number 10, Flash Gordon. Long live Flash. You've saved your ass. Have a nice day. Yeah! He's Okay, this one is typical 1980s cheese, but we love it. In order to save planet Earth from the evil Ming the Merciless, football player Flash Gordon pulls out all the stops. You really prefer death to a kingdom? I'm disappointed. I'd much rather see you on my side. Following elaborate sky and sword battles, the Emperor is finally defeated. The game's lost, Ming! Stop your attack on Earth and I'll spare your life! You pitiful fool. My life is not for any Earthling to give or take. Your power is fading, Ming. However, the last shot before the credits roll sees Ming's magical ring picked up by an unidentified individual with a maniacal laugh. And then we see a questionable title card. Is it the end? Is it really? <laughs> Number nine, Super Mario Brothers. Don't fight it. You know you've always been uncomfortable in the human world, and you've at least suspected that you were different. Back in the early 90s, anticipation and expectations for this live-action Super Mario Bros. adaptation were big. Unfortunately, the film was an even bigger disappointment. Oh my god. After second-rate nods to the video game and plenty of cheesy dialogue... Don't move your hands around like a small, wounded animal. The movie comes to a close when Daisy arrives. Luigi Mario! Looking super badass and dressed for battle. The princess asks Mario and Luigi for help. You're never gonna believe this. I believe it. You do? <laughs> I believe. Finally, something to get the blood pumping. And then it ends. At least there was a sequel. Oh, wait, no, there wasn't. Luigi, are you gonna uh -oh. stop moping around? Come on. Number eight, Prometheus. I'll be closing the outer doors in 15 minutes. I sincerely hope you can make it. This movie gave us plenty of unanswered questions but it's the ending that really gets you. Does it matter why they change their minds? Yes. Yes, it does. Acting is the origin story for the alien saga that began in 1979. Prometheus has its characters attempting to discover more about humanity's predecessors, known as the engineers. <gasps> no! The film ends with archaeologist Elizabeth Shaw fleeing in an escape pod towards the engineer's home planet. Final report of the vessel Prometheus. The ship and her entire crew are gone. If you're receiving this transmission, make no attempt to come to its point of origin. There's only death here now, and I'm leaving it behind. My name is Elizabeth Shaw, last survivor of the Prometheus. And I'm still searching. Not only do we not get to see where she ends up, but as an added twist, an early iteration of the xenomorph alien bursts onto the scene and... <laughs> Cut to black. Number seven, Planet of the Apes. I'm tired of this human. <laughs> Although the 1968 original is still a classic, 
Tim Burton's 2001 remake of Planet of the Apes gives us a slightly different spin on the shock ending. With apes having taken over the world, our astronaut attempts to travel back in time. After crash landing on Earth, Captain Leo Davidson quickly discovers just how serious the eradication of humanity has become. So it seems the apes have officially taken over for good. But what now? Number 6. Deep Rising We'll take over from here. This action horror follows a group of mercenaries as they attempt to loot a luxury cruise ship in the hopes of reaping some expensive rewards. We got blood here. We got blood here too, mate. We got blood everywhere. However, their plans are foiled when they realize there are giant sea creatures on board. <laughs> After grueling amounts of CGI cheese, the characters of Deep Rising end up away from the monsters and safe on an island. Or so we think. While John, Trillian, and Joey are basking in their reunion, we suddenly hear a roar and see a path of destruction approaching them as the camera pans out. Now what? Now what indeed. Number 5. 28 Weeks Later When it comes to zombie movies, it's not surprising to find the characters searching for a rumored safe haven. Outbreak is totally out of control, they're taking no chances. So unless you are out of the target zone, you are getting cooked, you got me? In the case of 28 Weeks Later, that haven is France. The survivors believe they will be safer across the English Channel, where they'll be able to avoid the infected. But after a title card that reads 28 Days Later appears, the screen is filled by zombies running towards the Eiffel Tower. France has also fallen victim to the same apocalyptic fate as the rest of the world. Where to next? Number four, The Grey. Something's wrong. Something's really, really wrong here. Okay, I don't feel right. Surviving the elements is one thing, but add a pack of hungry wolves to the mix, and it's a whole different story. I thought wolves were scared of people. Not if we're near their den. I'm not scared of anything yet. When several oil workers end up stuck in the Alaska wilderness, they soon find themselves fighting for their lives. You see them? They're all around us. We need a fire to keep them off us. Hurry. Ultimately, John Otway is left facing a badass wolf armed with a knife and a makeshift knuckle duster. And then the film cuts to a black screen. We really wanted to see this one. We mean Liam Neeson fighting a wolf? That would have been glorious. They paid me to kill those things, to keep them from killing you. Number three, lock stock and two smoking barrels. Now tell me, John, how can you be concentrating on improving this lovely tan, and it is a lovely tan, by the way, when you've got more pressing priorities at hand? Tell Harry. This quirky British crime thriller involves gamblers, thugs, and drug dealers along with loads of cash, a shitload of cash, narcotics, and most importantly, an expensive set of antique shotguns. We've got the guns, what's the matter with you? After numerous fights and standoffs, Tom finally gets his hands on the shooters. Now this was an embarrassing position for Tom to be in, but Chris had to respect the fact that he was holding what appeared to be a pair of loaded shotguns. However, believing the guns are worthless and can be used as evidence against them, he goes to ditch them off a bridge. The others soon find out it's quite the opposite and try to warn him, but... Number 2. 
Dawn of the Dead. Oh, my God. No chance. Forget it. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. They can't get up here. Yeah, and we can't go down there. Let's check it out. This early George A. Romero flick sees a couple of survivors fighting to stay alive inside a zombie-infested shopping mall. By the end, the two that remain are forced to escape to a rooftop helicopter. It's almost light. Let's go. He hasn't answered the radio for hours. However, since Peter and Francine have very little fuel, we're left with more questions than answers. All we know is that they fly off. How far did they get? Did they reach safety? We will never know. How much fuel do we have? Not much. All right. Before we reveal our number one unresolved cliffhanger, here are a few honorable mentions. Escape pod activated. Escape pod ignition. As you know, the frontier is down. Zur escaped, and there is still danger. So I was wondering if you wouldn't be willing to stay on and rebuild the Starfighter Legion. Goodbye, Andrew. Italian job. Get yourself sorted out and shut up. No one talks anymore except me. Okay, we gotta say it. This is literally a cliffhanger. Hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still. Charlie Croker and company find themselves fleeing with a bus full of gold after they steal four million dollars worth from a convoy. But when they swerve off route and end up balancing on the edge of a cliff, they're forced to choose gold or safety. Edge back. As far as you can go, to cow, to cow to balance me now. As soon as Croker reveals he has an idea, the camera zooms out and leaves us scratching our heads forever. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Uh. Uh. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite movie cliffhanger? Behold the Underminer! For more enjoyable top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I've saved you. My God! How? By magic, of course. With a kiss, because I like you.